What is up, all my geeks and gamers? Techie1019 here, coming at you with a mod showcase. This is called the Too Many TNT Mod, or Too Much TNT Mod. Okay, so first of all, it adds one new ore to mod called Sulfur, and what it does is if you mine it... Oh, crap, spider, get away, you freaking spider! Alright, so what it does is if you mine it, you get... Ah, gun freaking powder! Oh god, okay, 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 hold on, hold on, okay. Don't bother me. Don't, don't touch me. Hi. Oh, shoot. Ah, okay. Okay. That, that's a good blast off to the mod showcase. Okay. So, as you can see, that obviously gives you, um, gunpowder. That way you could build one piece of TNT. And if you put that in a crafting thing, you get a piece of dynamite. And what you're able to do with this dynamite is you're able to throw the dynamite. Blow up that creeper with this throwable dynamite. How about that zombie die? Zombie die! <laughs> so, yeah, it, it gives you uh, four dynamite, and yeah. Okay, so the second thing is if you put four TNT, you get TNT times five. Now, the TNT times five is a little bigger than a regular explosion. So, first of all, let's get, actually get a, a piece of TNT, place it down, and blow it up. We're going to see how big the hole is. Alright. So that's a decent sized hole. Doesn't really get past dirt. Okay. So now the TNT times 5. So remember, our hole is over here. And look at that. That's a little bit bigger of an explosion. It obviously goes down to the stone a little bit more. So, yeah. That's TNT times 5. Woo! Woo! Alright, and so next we have TNT times 20. This is crafted by putting 4 TNT times 5s in your inventory crafting slot. Now we saw the TNT times 5 blew up right here, and that's a decent sized hole. Now, the TNT times 20 is a little bit stronger than both of them combined. So if we blow that up, it takes a little bit longer to explode. Wow! Jeez, look at how big that crater is. It's a giant crater. You could do, uh, you could blow up, uh, a bunch of stuff with that. So, yeah, that's TNT times 20. Alright, and so next we have TNT times 100. This is crafted, obviously, by taking TNT times 20 and putting it in a 4. Um, so we saw how much the TNT times 20 did. I think we should get a little bit further away. For this TNT times a hundred. Back up, 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 back up. It's gonna lag. Takes a little bit longer to explode, obviously, because it's a lot more higher powered. Oh god. Wah. Oh my god. It blew up like the whole surrounding area. Wow. That's incredible. But it doesn't look like it blew up any of the mobs. That's interesting. Well, look at all the mobs that spawn. Let's, uh, let's kill them. Brr, you shall all die now. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. TNT times 100. Pretty, pretty damn sure. All right. So, the next bomb that we have is TNT times 500. I'm not sure I really want to explode this because it's going to make it lag like a lot. So let's skip that one. All right, so next we have the flat bomb. Now the description of the flat bomb here is it destroys every area but below it. So really, it flattens the land so that you can, you know, if, if you, okay, so let's, let's go, let's go find a hill. Let's go find a hill. Damn you, computer. Okay. So this, you know, it's it's fairly flat, but you know, maybe you want to make, I don't know, some kind of sculpture. So we use the flat bomb to flatten it out. So it doesn't explode downward, it explodes out, and it flattens the land around it. Like that. So it makes it like a flat land, technically. Um, except for it looks... Okay, that's weird. Um, but anyway, see? It makes a gigantic flat... A uh, piece of land for you to build on. So, yeah, flat bomb. Woo! Alright, so the next bomb that we have is called Meteor TNT. 
The description of Meteor TNT is it's the biggest in the mod, and it'll spawn a meteor in the sky. The meteor TNT will explode on impact and make a crater. So when you light it up, a meteor will fall from the sky, explode, and make a giant crater. So why don't we go over to our little flat area that we created before and create a giant hole in it. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Meteor TNT right there. Kaboom! Meteor? Meteor? Hello? Ah, here it comes! Lag. Lag, lag. Lag, lag, lag. 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 Uh-oh. Hello? Minecraft? Hello? Hello? Alright guys, so finally stopped lagging out, and as you can see, it's such a giant crater everywhere, it reveals a bunch of ores, and it sets the surrounding area on fire. Look how big this is. It's like, oh look, and we found a little ravine inside of the crater. That's so cool. So yeah, the Meteor TNT, I would not suggest uh, using this a lot. Unless you really can't find ores, because you're going to lag for a pretty long time. Um, so yeah, Meteor TNT. So the next TNT we have is the Mining Flat Bomb. Now what the Mining Flat Bomb is, uh, excuse me, um, it's the same as the Flat Bomb, except it's meant for underground mining. And it also places torch for you, torches for you. So if we go back over to our big hole in the ground, and we go to say the ravine, and let's see if there's a cave inside this ravine that maybe we can find connected to it. Let's see. Serene. Alright. We'll just do this. We'll place it there and we'll light it up. Now we better back off. Let's get him there. There it goes. Okay. So, as you can see, it cleared a pretty decent area. It also placed torches all over the place. Um, so, that way you can mine around and it reveals all kinds of ores. So, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, mining flat bomb. Whee! Okay, now the next TNT we have is compact TNT. Now, what compact TNT does is after the original explosion, it'll splat TNT will splatter regular TNT everywhere. So, what really the basis of this is that when you blow it up, more TNT is going to fly everywhere and explode all the surrounding things around you. So let's get pretty far. We'll plant near these horses. I'm sorry, horsies. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Kaboom! And then it places oh god, that's a lot. It places a bunch of DT lights and a fire boom. Look at that. That's awesome. So really what that did is it exploded. Blew up all the horses, set more TNT, set them on fire, and blew them up too. So really, you're killing uh, two birds with one stone there. Or should I say two horses with one stone? <laughs> Alright, so the next thing that we have is vaporized TNT. This can be created uh, using TNT times 20 and four buckets. Now what the vaporized TNT is going to do is it destroys nothing but la water and lava. Huh. It says not to do it in a video. So all it does is it destroys water and lava. That's interesting. So we'll just skip that one and go to the Ender Bomb. Now the Ender Bomb, what it does is 
when it explodes, it magically explodes you like 50 feet away. So let's try that out. Kaboom! Ready? Boom! Splat! What the heck? How did that light on fire? Oh my god, that meteor explosion just lit everything on fire around it. That's cool. Alright, so as you can see from that ender bomb, I flew a pretty decent distance. I actually started off right over here. And as you can see, it doesn't actually blow anything up. So that's cool if you want to get somewhere far. What I didn't test with this is if you're in survival, do you die from fall damage? So let's try that out. Kaboom! And... Let's go! Oh god, into the crater. Wow. Wow. Oh, uh, now I have to find the damn thing. But anyway, yeah, uh, Enderbomb. Alright, so the last regular, semi-regular piece of TNT we have is nuclear TNT. Now what nuclear TNT does is it places nuclear waste everywhere, and it'll wipe out leaves, kill plants, and melt ice and snow. So, say you want to pretty much demolish this whole snow biome here. What we're going to do is we're just going to, you know, place a regular nuclear... Run! Nuclear waste, go! Wait. Here it goes. Kaboom! Nuclear waste everywhere. And so what it's doing now is it's melting the snare. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a problem. Uh-oh, I... I, I, I blew up my chest. Oops. That's, that's not good. This, this isn't, this isn't good. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Alright. <laughs> so I remember what the next bomb I was going to show you was. It was the house bomb. House TNT, sorry. Alright. Oh, this is the brick house TNT. But to make house TNT, it should be in a pile in here. No, I guess not. Alright, so to do the house TNT, it's, you do three pieces of cobblestone on the top, a piece of glass, a TNT times five, and another piece of glass, cobblestone, crafting table, and cobblestone. You get house TNT. So, what the house TNT actually does... If I can find the description on the wiki. There it is. House TNT. It spawns a basic cobblestone house. So, oh my god, this thing did a lot. Alright, I'm just going to build it here. Boop. And go. And house. Ta-da! Basic cobblestone house. Has a crafting table in it. Uh, a gate. You can get into get rid of you. All right, and yeah, it spawns a basic little house. Now the next one that we have is a wood house TNT. Now what you have to do to craft a wood house TNT is three pieces of wood, piece of gold, and a house TNT, another piece of gold, and three more wood, and that makes wood house TNT. Now what it does is I'm guessing. Build a simple wood house instead of cobblestone. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. So, oops. Okay. Let's get inside. Okay, so what it does is it spawns a house. I think there's supposed to be a bed there. Oops. Let's 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 go somewhere. Let's let's go somewhere else. Let's go like right here. And Jackazing! Wood house. There's the bed, crafting table, and furnace. And the last thing that we have is brick house TNT. Now I'm guessing you can guess the crafting recipe. No, you can't. Because it's three bricks on the top, diamond, 
a, uh, a house TNT, another diamond, and three more bricks. So that's a pretty hefty crafting recipe. Now, what this does, you go over here. And I put it, I don't know, say right here. Load up. It creates a cobblestone house. This has a crafting table. And that's it. Unless it broke. Nope. Okay. So it just creates... Oh, wait. I blew up the wrong one. Whoops. I blew up the cobblestone. Under. Okay. Brick house. Boom. And as you can see, it's got carpet. Carpet? Or is this wool? Oh, that's a piece of wool. Wool, a bed, a large chest, and the crafting table and furnace. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's get back to where we were. And I believe... Oh, here's some stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Biome TNT. Okay, so what the biome TNT is, is there's certain things that we have, um, and they are called biome TNTs. Now, the first biome TNT is fire TNT. Fire TNT is crafted by putting a flint and steel... Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I, let me, let me do this. Alright, I need a TNT times five... And there. Okay. And we go like this. And game mode zero. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please stay. Stay. Please. No, please. You put a TNT times 5 and a flint and steel and you get a fire TNT, obviously. And now, if we light this. And we put this down. And we light it. It will explode into a fire. It burst to light everything on fire around it. Yeah. Okay, so next we have snow TNT. And this is the same crafting recipe as the last one, except that you put a snow block on top of the blue uh, TNT times five. So, what this does is, just like the fire, you blow it up, and it spreads snow all over the place. Boom. Snow all over the place. It's a winter wonderland. Okay. <laughs> so, the next thing that we have is ocean TNT. And ocean TNT is crafted by putting a regular piece of TNT... Just kidding, not a regular piece of TNT. A TNT times... What is that? TNT times 100. And four water buckets around it in a diamond shape. Now, if we light the ocean TNT, I, can, I have a feeling this is going to create a giant water puddle. Since it is to you. Oh, yeah. It creates a nice little ocean. And, yeah. Alright, so the last TNT that we have is the Hellfire TNT. I'm not actually gonna, uh, give you the crafting recipe for the rest of these, since it's taking way too long. So, the Hellfire TNT takes a little while to explode. It makes the sound of gas. And it spawns gas all over the place. Yay! Woohoo, gas! And it puts Netherrack all over the place. Cool. So there are two more really cool TNTs that are in this mod. The drilling TNT and the digging TNT. Let's start off with the digging. What the digging TNT is... Is... It explodes... And it drills a hole straight down into the world and puts lava, I mean water, right at the end. Which is uh, pretty cool. 
Just a single thing that goes down. I don't know how you'd get into that. But this is where it's all at. The drilling TNT. Now watch what this does. Rather than just making a straight hole down, it makes a giant crater that goes down right into a pit of water so that you could dive down. It goes all the way down to bedrock. Now, as you can see, it revealed a lot of ores. It doesn't explode the ores. It just drills straight through. So, yeah. And there's one more TNT that I want to show you guys. It is called the Cubic TNT. Now, what this TNT does, I'm guessing you could tell by the name, is it makes a perfect cube in the ground. It's perfect. See? See? It's, it's five by five. One, two. It's five by five, and it's perfect. It's it's a perfect cube. It's 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 perfect. So yeah. That uh that's actually gonna be it for this mod. Uh thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment telling me what other mods I should review and showcase. And we're gonna end it off with a bang! Boom! Yeah! Raining TNT! Woo! Yeah! That was a TNT firework, if you were wondering. Woo! Yeah! Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.